Hi and welcome back to our videos on Cisco Packet Tracer. In this video we're going to look at something new. It's called IOT and that stands for Internet of Things. Internet of Things is a really growing industry and there's more and more examples of it around us all the time. For instance, you might have a car that you could unlock from a distance through your smartphone or maybe you can control the temperature of your home from your smartphone even though you're a long distance away. So those are examples of IoT and we're going to take a look at how you can do it in Cisco Packet Tracer. First thing, we're going to go in to End Devices and we're going to choose this server right here and that's going to be what we call our registration server. We'll talk about that in a minute. We're also going to need a switch. So we're going to go to switch and we're going to use a 2960. And we're going to need a home gateway and that's underneath wireless de devices. When you scroll all the way to the right here, you're going to see it home gateway. And we're going to use that device. Next, we are going to put static IP addresses in these devices. So let's go to desktop, let's go to IP config, and we're going to set this to 10.10.10.1. Click on subnet mask, and we'll just close that for now. We're going to go to home gateway, and we are going to go to internet and static IP address and we're going to put in 10.10.10.2 click on subnet mask and then we'll close that then what we'll do is we will hardwire these devices together using a copper straight through we'll click on this here and connect to the switch and we'll use another straight through to go from the home gateway to the switch. Next, we're going to set up the registration server. So to do that, we're going to click on it. And you can go to services. And if you recall that we used the same server in a previous video to set up a DH. CP server. We also use it for a web server. We're going to use it for a registration server in an IoT project. So we're going to click on IoT and we're going to click on for registration server. And then we are going to go to the desktop. We're going to go to web browser and we're actually going to put in the URL the IP address for this device and we're going to click go because what we have to do is we're going to set up a server that we are going to access so we need to be able to access this and we haven't yet so we got to go sign up now so we're going to click on sign up now and we're going to create our own username and password and why don't we use packet and password will be tracer and we're going to go create then we'll log out so there we've set up the registration server and we'll close that next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in some devices that we're going to pretend that we have in our home so we need to go down to and devices we're gonna go here to home and there's a number of different ones you can choose from you can choose a motion detector so we're gonna grab a motion detector and we also have a door this is gonna act like our front door to our home and there's also an alarm siren which is here so we're going to bring this in. Next thing is it's much easier to connect these up if these are all wireless. 
we don't want to have ethernet cables going to each of these that's difficult to do so we're going to put a wireless card on each one of these so we're going to do that first so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to go down to advanced i'm going to go to io config and i'm going to click on network adapter 2 drop down and i'm going to go down to this one here that ends with 1w it's a wireless card and i'm going to click on that and then i'm going to go to config when i go to config you can see here that we need to set the remote server that's the registration server so that this device is actually going to talk to the registration server which is a remote server we need to put in the address for that so it's 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 and the username is what we typed in when we created the registration server which was packet and password was tracer we're still not done yet because we need to enter in the IP address for this device and this is where there's a little glitch in the software right now we should see it if I'm going to wireless then I actually see it here I'm gonna to go to static and I'm gonna enter in the IP address for this motion detector 10.10.10.3 click on subnet mask and there if I go to IO config I can see that I've chosen the wireless card if I go to config here I can see that I have set the remote server so now what I should be able to do is click on this here and if it shows me refresh then I know that it has made a connection with the registration server and when I close this I should see this slash line here going up to the sensor I got to do the same to the door so I'm going to click on this and I got to go to advanced I'm going to go to IO config go to network adapter 2 we're going to choose the wireless card that ends with 1w so select that we're going to go to config scroll down we're going to go to remote server and this door also has to communicate with our registration server so we need to put in the address for that username as well so username packet password is tracer I need to go to wireless here and put in the IP address for this device so I'm going to go static and for the door we're using 10.10.10.4 .10 .10 and there let me just check the configuration that's right if I go to config and that looks right so again if I'm not sure I can always connect here and it shows refresh anytime it shows refresh we know that we have connected successfully I'm gonna close this here and let's do the siren last so I'm gonna to go to advanced IO config network adapter 2 we're gonna choose the wireless adapter I'm gonna to go to config scroll down we're gonna put in the remote server address 10.10.10.1 username is packet passwords tracer we're gonna click on wireless and then we need to put in the static IP for this device we're using 10.10.10.5 for the siren if I go back to IO config that looks right if I go to config that looks correct and if I go to connect it shows refresh so yes we know that it has connected properly so we're gonna close this here and there everything looks right we can do a data test just to make sure that everything is working we're gonna try this test in real time 
we're going to go here and click on add simple PDU protocol data unit and let's click on that and let's send from this device to this device and yes it was successful so everything looks good so far now next is I need to configure the logic for how this is going to work and basically here's what we're going to do we're going to say that if the door is locked and the motion sensor is tripped it's going to turn on an alarm if the door is unlocked we're going to assume that we're home and if we're home we're not going to trip the alarm so we need to set up the logic to do that and we do that in the registration server so you're going to click on that we're going to go to the web browser and we need to type in the address for the device and click go we need to log in so username packet password tracer sign in and when we do that we can actually see the devices so I can see the motion detector I can see the door and I can see the siren now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the names here because when I do the logic it actually looks at these names here it's just gonna be easier if I just click on this and just change this to motion detect and I'm gonna change this to door and I'll change this to siren and you'll see in a minute when it shows up so I'm gonna go back to registration server and if I just single click these you can see whether or not they're on or off at the moment so we can see that the motion detector is not detecting anything if I want to try and see if it detects something what you do is hold down your alt key and put your mouse in front of the detector so hold down alt and then there you can see that yes it was tripped it is on a timer so it will go back to not detecting you can see it right there but again if we hold down the alt key and put this in front you can see that yes it did detect so it is communicating with the registration server we can go and manually lock and unlock the door just by clicking this here so I can go lock unlock and it's hard to see but you can see green and red here when it changes so it looks like that so it's unlocked right now now what we're gonna do is set up some conditions so we're gonna go here and we're gonna add some conditions and basically we want to tell it when the siren is on so I have to name the rule I want to make sure it's enabled and then here's where I set up my if thens just like you have done maybe in programming the conditions are if the motion detector on is true so in other words if it has been set plus we're gonna add another condition so click here also if the door is locked so if the sensor is tripped it's gonna go true the door is locked we're gonna assume that we have not unlocked the door somebody has gotten in through a window or something and they've set off the motion detector and if that's the case we need to set the alarm so we're gonna go then set the siren to be on to true so there now you don't see where we can save this this is a little tricky so watch this I'm gonna go click on this gray bar and pull it up with my mouse and then you can see the OK so we need to click OK to save it and there we've got our first action now we need to turn off the siren if we've unlocked the door 
so we need another condition here so we're going to go to add and we're going to call this rule siren off and we're going to say if the door locked is unlocked then set the siren to be on is false I know the logic seems a little bit strange but that's the way the logic is here so that's the logic for this here now what we need to do is just click on this bar and pull this up here and click OK so there's our two actions so let's just review it if the motion detector on is true in other words if it's been detected and the door is locked we are going to set the siren on if the door is unlocked that means we're at home and we don't want the siren to turn on just because we're walking around setting off the motion detector so we're gonna say if the door is unlocked we're gonna set siren on to false so now what we can do is we can go here to home and click on each one of these and let's just see if our logic works so right now if the door is locked and if we trip the motion sensor so if I hold down the alt key and I put it in front yes we've tripped it and the siren does turn on exactly as we expected the motion detector has reset itself we're gonna unlock the door so we're gonna pretend like we're home if we're home and we set off the motion detector we don't want the siren to go on so I'm gonna hold down my alt key click this and yes we've set it but you can see the alarm doesn't go on so our logic is working as expected just one final test so if we lock the door hold down your alt key and we go to motion detector yes it does trip and it performs the logic in the registration server turns on the siren so that's it for this video now you know how to set up a registration server in a IOT project try this in packet tracer yourself see if you can get it to work that's it for this video we'll see you next time